Hallo, herzlich willkommen YouTube bei eurem Commander Krieger und herzlich willkommen zu Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishment. Äh, wir haben ja Sherlock Holmes The Devil's Daughter letztens gespielt und jetzt ist es Zeit für den Vorgänger. Was aber nicht schlimm ist, weil die Stories unterschiedlich sind. Und ja, neues Spiel, Herr Fang. Gedenken an die himmlischen 100 der Ukraine. Der schwarze Peter lautet unsere erste, äh, unsere erste Aufgabe, unser erstes Rätsel, unser erster Fall. Der schwarze Peter. Das Spiel soll so ähnlich sein wie das äh, Devil's Daughter vom, vom Aufbau her. Also sprich, man muss Beweise sammeln und das Ganze. Und äh, ja. Holmes, will you stop that? You are utterly mad. Stop, Holmes! Is that you, Watson? Yes, of course it is. And you almost killed me. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. Blindfolded? Oh, you... Watson, quiet, please. I'm trying to concentrate. Ah, Lestrade. What is it this time? He can see me. Well, here it is, and it's a good one, Mr. Holmes. A gentleman by the name of Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, has been murdered. A sailor, most probably. What happened here? Oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges sent me a vase collection this morning. I couldn't think of a better use for it. You're out of your mind. I missed four out of ten. Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Can I have a try? Am I the only sane one here? I suppose that Watson is right, Inspector. A little brain work would be preferable now. Do please tell us more about Black Peter. Peter Carey, born in 1845 and 50 years old. An ambitious sort, he achieved much success in seal and whale hunting around Scandinavia. Retired in 1884 with a small fortune. He invested his money in a property called Woodman's Lee, near Forest Row in Sussex. It was where he lived for six years and where he was found dead yesterday. Has the investigation already begun? Yes and no. In fact, this crime is so mysterious that I would prefer you to join me down there. Give me half an hour to prepare, Inspector. Take your time and join me there. I have to go through the yard first. The Medi men struck again. What have they done this time? They robbed a powder reserve. I'll meet you at Woodman's Lee, Mr. Holmes. I should help Mrs. Hudson here. I also have several appointments that I must keep this afternoon. I shall go alone then. Ja, dann gehen wir halt alleine. So, Notizbuch. Baker Street, Woodman's Lee. Untersuchen Sie den Mord an Peter Carey. Sehen Sie sich am Tatort, sehen Sie sich den Tatort in Woodman's Lee an. Suchen Sie einen Anzug aus Ihrem Kleiderschrank aus und treffen Sie dann das Tor in Woodman's Lee. 
So, dann hier nochmal, dass Lestrat jetzt in der Baker Street war. Hat von dem grotesken Mord, dem ehemaligen Kapitän, äh, genannt. Das haben wir. Dann haben wir hier Beweise. Profil des Opfers. Peter Carey, auch bekannt unter dem Namen Schwarzer Peter. Schwarzer Peter. Geboren 1895 und damit 50 Jahre alt. Er war ein erfolgreicher Walfänger in skandinavischen Gewässern, setzte sich 84. Also mal ohne Scheiß, ne? Hier 45 geboren. Äh, und hier 39 Jahre später. Erstmal direkt zur Ruhe. Und zog nach Woodman's Knee. Dann brauche ich noch zwei Jahre arbeiten, dann bin ich auch in Rente. Ja? So. Dann ziehen wir uns mal was an. Ich möchte gerne das Tigerfell anziehen. This is where I keep my post. This is where I keep my post. Okay, die Steuerung zum vorherigen Teil. Oh, what a mess! What a terrible mess! Ist definitiv äh, schwammiger, finde ich. So, wo ziehe ich mich denn hier an? So, Schminktisch benutzen. Ähm. Ach, das kann ich ja noch nicht machen. Dann gehen wir zum Kleiderschrank. Wie soll denn Anzug anziehen, ne? Wir ziehen einen dunklen Anzug an. Und dann hüpfen wir mal zu Woodman's Lee. <lacht> Ruhig mal die Bewegungsunschärfe ausmachen können hier für so Leute wie mich, ne? Mr. Holmes, I'm over here. Come on. Bitte. Ich bin immer noch ein bisschen, äh, ein bisschen schwammig. Ich weiß gar nicht, was das hier soll. Keine Ahnung. Das sieht schon besser aus. Dann lauf mal. 25. Holmes my name. Sherlock Holmes. Inspector Lestrade, when will you remove my husband's body? It's sacrilegious to leave him here like this. As soon as we can, Mrs. Carey, I assure you. Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. He's a detective. No doubt you've heard of him. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. My condolences, Mrs. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Die wird jetzt erstmal hier äh, erstmal untersucht. Augen haben wir nichts. Ich hat hier nochmal. Obenmeise. Kartenhand. Ah. Madam. Can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. But I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time when he was drunk.
Can you please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder? Well, Peter got drunk in the evening. He was in such a terrible temper. Usually, whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at around seven o'clock. I noticed the cabin door was open, but I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around ten o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and... Oh, dear. Was your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? Oh, no, I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. We lived quite an isolated life here, after his retirement. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy. Mm. But he was still Pop my husband. Water. He was different, wasn't he, when you first met him upon your return from Plymouth? Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh, my goodness, but how do you know about that? Never mind. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy. But he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he, when you first met him upon your return from Plymouth? Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh, my goodness, but how do you know about that? You undertook a pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there, and you married him soon afterwards. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. Ah! Thank you, madam. Owns. So, dann gehen wir mal gucken, was die hier aufgehangen hat für Wäsch. So. Bin ich dann. Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Ich hat sie mich. Äh, It seems that the garden was well maintained. Mich steile Treppe hier. So, schönen guten Tag, Lestuart. Mach auf die Pforte. Peter Carey's body is inside the cabin. We took care not to touch anything. Was hoffe ich für dich, Jung? Man öffne mir die Tür. The door is locked. Wait just a moment, Mr. Holmes, and I'll open it. I locked it yesterday to ensure that no one should enter the cabin and tamper with the evidence. Ah, good thinking. Hello, hello, hello. What is it, Lestrade? It seems to me that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. Let me see. These scratches are fresh. You're right. Someone tried to force open the door. I swear these scratches were not here yesterday. Our mysterious visitor came here last night. Well, he's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. Perhaps he did not have the right tool. Er hat hier 100 Pro in die Büsche geworfen. It seems that the garden was well maintained. So, kann er jetzt mal die Tür aufmachen, Mann? Ja, moin. What a terrible way to die.
Un swag. This man is in his 50s, yet he still looks quite strong. The weapon fully penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. Peter Carey was fully dressed. He was not caught by surprise. It is possible that he knew his murderer. This blood is from the pool underneath the dead <clears throat> body. This wooden handle is plain and solid. Peter Carey tried off. to defend himself with this knife, but he did not succeed. J.H.N. are probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. The pattern of the blood stain indicates that the notebook was not lying on the floor prior to the crime, but it was dropped into the pool of blood after the death of Peter Carey. These abbreviations mean something, but what? So, die haben wir auf jeden Fall mitgenommen. Wir haben ein neues, äh, wahrscheinlich ein neues Indiz hier. Einbruchsversuche, Notizbuch. Kann man halt miteinander, wenn man will, kombinieren. Heute geht es sich auf die Lauer zu legen, um zu sehen, ob der Einbrecher einen neuen Versuch macht. Kann ich erstmal die Hütte untersuchen? Ha, someone was here yesterday. They attempted to force the door to gain entry. Peter Carey was impaled to the wall by a wailing harpoon. The Sea Unicorn. She was the ship that Peter Carey commanded. So, what have we here done? Old navigation instruments, nothing interesting. Peter Carey's boots, they look to be a size eight. Well, Sean. So. <clears throat> The murder weapon was probably taken from this rack. Hmm. Mm. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. The tooth of a sperm whale, probably from one of Peter Carey's catches. Here is Thomas. Wieso ist hier so ein Freier? Hier ist auch dieses. Genau, irgendwas ist da. Skandinavien. Dundee. Hammerfest. It's a whaling map. Someone <clears throat> drank from this glass recently. The initials PC have been crudely burned. A sailor's work. So, somit haben wir äh, einen Raucher. Hmm, this aroma is familiar, but to recognize it, 
I must construct my associations in one picture. So, das ist auf jeden Fall ein Segelschiff. Nur ich weiß jetzt nicht, wie ich das hier richtig hingewuselt kriege. Das ist, ja, das ist ja eine Aufgabe für mich. Ne? Da habe ich ja richtig, richtig Bock drauf, hier jetzt da äh, mir hier einen Krebs rauszuzwirbeln. Ne? So. Also erstmal so rum. Das ist eine Bombe. 